folks, Duke CT here back once again, and I have some really interesting news. It seems like Alberto Del Rio has suffered a very severe concussion, and he will not make it to No Way Out. And this comes off the heels of, for WWE, is um, this whole thing comes off of uh, Chris Jericho's getting indefinitely suspended for his action in uh, Brazil. You have... Randy Orton getting wellness suspension for 60 days, and now with this injury for Bob Del Rio, it seems like No Way Out is going to be a very, very thin pay-per-view. I mean, let's be honest, I'm not really looking forward to this pay-per-view at all. I mean, most of y'all are not really looking forward to it. In fact, the only match I'm looking forward towards, uh, <coughs> looking forward to is the kane Brian punk match, and I think that's going to be really at least halfway decent. But everything else is just so blasé. Nothing really jumps out at me to show that something well, this is going to be a great, uh, a great uh, pay-per-view what have you. We have Big Show versus John Cena again. We're going to have a Triple H promo, which is probably going to take up at least 30 to 40 or 50 minutes of the show. And now you have Alberto Del Rio gone. And trust me, and as much as I like Del Rio... Dude doesn't. Dude does not need the world title. He can't. I mean, honestly, I would. I would like him. Personally, I would love to have him feud with uh, Santino Morella for the U.S. Championship and build himself back up. I think that would be a better place for him. I mean, it just seems that honestly, he is not over it at all. He is not really connecting with the fan base, and the reason why is because of WWE hot shot him. Personally, I think he should have been the one who won the King of the Ring back in two thousand and. Was it 2009? Yes, it was 2009. If you won the King of the Ring in 2009, I think it would have been a lot better. Uh, and I think it would have been better for him if he won the King of the Ring and have that like, King Del Rio or whatever. That would have been better for him instead of just he's rushing to get the money to make, trying to get him to get that title or what have you. You know, back like 2011 or what have you. I think it would have been a lot better for him if he started to build uh, his way back of, uh, you know, build himself up to being the um, the WWE champion, all this type of stuff. Instead of just hot shining him. But that's just my opinion. But I want to hear your thoughts and what you think the WWE should do. Should the WWE have uh, a battle royal? Some say they're going to put Kane. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over a cold. That's why um, I haven't really been doing up with the reviews and everything else. Uh, anyway, uh, what should WWE do? Should they put King in the Kane versus Seamus? Tenzai. Some people say they're going to put Tenzai in there. Uh, what should the WWE do? Because this is a huge problem. And if this does, I mean, and it does cry out one thing is that, you know what? The WWE did make its bed because, uh, made this bed like this because there is no real interesting stuff in the mid card. Every person in the mid card is completely, well, blase. No one really jumps out of there. And that's what WWE thought. They don't build these guys up. I mean, and it shouldn't be this hard. You should stop building up challengers and should just get that, you know, the mid card up. That's what people loved about the 80s and, uh, and the Attitude or what have you, the two main spots, is that the mid card, you felt that everyone, everybody had a shot. Everybody had a legitimate shot to take down Hogan or Macho Man or what have you. They had, you felt like Roddy Piper had a shot. You felt that um, um, Andre the Giant had a shot, even though he was um, being made of a player or what have you. you. You know what I'm saying. You felt like all these guys who did in the 80s and all this stuff had an opportunity because they were, you know, people believe in that stuff. Nowadays, it's just like, eh, it, no one really cares. It sucks. That's the problem. WWE does not foster a healthy mid-card. And that is where the true healthy company is. If you can foster a healthy mid-card, you know, I think people will be a lot more excited. Instead of it's just, well, can you honestly tell me, anyone in the mid-card right, right now in the WWE, do they actually have a shot? And if, they, if you can explain that, video response, comment, whatever, that would be great. Because honestly, I'm looking at a mid-card and there is nothing. All there is is just guys who just... I don't believe in that. I just don't see anybody, and I mean anybody, can step up in the mid card to be looked on as a credible champion. And I mean, I mean, I mean everybody. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, want to hear your thoughts about it? Anyway, Duke CT here.
Peace and love. My Godzilla versus, <clears throat> I mean, my Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla review will be up, hopefully by Thursday. Sorry for the delays about that. Also, it will my uh, TNA Slammiversary 10 review will come up uh, later. As maybe it will come up next Monday as well. I'm trying to get all that stuff done uh, and everything else. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it <laughs> and everything else. So thank you very much for watching. It's Duke CT here. Peace and love. I'll see y'all when I see y'all later.